Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you some new engagement cards that are coming in the new homepage framework. Uh, I found these useful for a customer who was trying to give access to managers uh, so that they could see uh, employees' uh, birthdays without showing them the year. And I thought this would be a nice thing to share with everybody. It's really simple to set up, so let's get started. Okay, in this video, going to show you how the uh, new engagement cards work for managers um, that do reminders for a, a birthday and anniversary for managers. So first off, I'm going to start you uh, with the fi finished product so you can see where we're heading. So I'm going to proxy in as a manager now, and my manager is Maya Cooper. And what I want you to see is that they, um, there are now uh, a couple of uh, new engagement cards available for Maya. And so when you come here, you go to the For, for You Today, you can see that the um, there are two cards here. There's one that has uh, uh, two, uh, your team has two birthdays this month, and then this uh, another card that shows you that there are two anniversaries this month. And so if you look here at the card, you can drill into this, and you can see uh, that uh, the birthdays have um, the, the the day and the month, but not necessarily the year, which of course is nice and uh, handy. And then also for the service anniversary, same thing. You can just see the days, uh, but not the year. So that is the new cards. Again, it shows up on, uh, on managers for their direct employees so that they can go in and see uh, who may be having a birthday or an anniversary. Um, uh, and now these uh, particular cards are the monthly cards. So you can have, uh, there, there are cards that get generated once a month at the start of the month to let you know who all is being, uh, is going to have a birthday or an anniversary within the month. Uh, there is a separate one that uh, we're not seeing here on the screen, but there's going to be a separate card that will show up that will also just show you, uh, hey, here are the people that ha are having a birthday today. So that's another uh, kind of handy thing. So um, let me show you just real briefly what all is involved in setting this up. Um, so the first thing you need to do um, is you're going to go in, uh, I would go to business configuration first. Go to manage business configuration. And you need to make sure that uh, da, da, da. Oh, I'm in as the wrong person. Of course, I'm still in as the manager. Manager does not have access to config. So I'm going to go in. Now I've got to manage business configuration. And uh, we're going to go and confirm that we have the two fields necessary um, in order to set this up in your system. So the first, uh, so you need to go to uh, employee profile, go to standard and make sure that you have two fields. Uh, the first one is date of birth. Uh, date of, and you can see it down here and you see that it is enabled. So we're good to go there. And then service date is the other one. So that one is down here as well. Um, and let's see here, service date is uh, enabled in this system as well, so we're good to go there. Now, um, uh, if you don't use service date, you can just use hire date for the anniversary alerts. But service date uh, oftentimes is a little bit better because, as you, as you know, it's a, it's a way for you to be able to adjust um, the, uh, the, the anniversary date and, and remember dates of service and stuff like that. So um, that's uh, if you want to use the service date, you can. If not, uh, your fallback is it will use the hire date for anniversary alerts. So that is uh, something to keep in mind. Now, if you are going to use um, service date, the next thing that you need to do is you need to go into employment info and you need to set up the HRIS sync. So you're going to go down to service date. Um, in, and then you can see here that I've got it set up. And I also have the service date uh, with HRIS sync turned on. So that makes sure that the um, service date in your employment details syncs down to the employee profile. Um, now that isn't, uh, uh, you don't have to do that for the date of birth. The date of birth happens automatically, but not for uh, service date. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to skip over the next thing that you would need to do. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna just go ahead and show you real quick. Go to roles, uh, permission roles. Now you're going to need to uh, go into your manager role and you're gonna 
hop in and make sure that they have access. They have, need to have visibility to date of birth and service date and not the ones in Employee Central. Instead, you need to have access to those dates inside of employee data. So you can see here that we have set up access to date of birth and to service date. Now, let's get down here. Um, so uh, one thing that you may be a little bit concerned about is to say, hey, date of birth, I don't want to give access to the date of birth because I don't want to give the year out to my managers. Uh, don't worry, as long as you don't cre uh, create a portlet that is assigned to the manager that has the, the uh, employee profile date of birth available, you're fine. You know, the, the manager would never see it, so you should be okay there. So um, again, just make sure that you have service date and date of birth and and, um, assigned to the manager and now uh, now they the manager has everything that they need okay so we've set up everything on the uh, kind of on the front end the other thing that has to happen though is that um, you need to go into the upgrade center and actually set up the access uh, or uh, the, excuse me set up the cards so you're gonna go in here to uh, the upgrade center ba -ba -ba. Let's hurry up. And I've actually already done this step, but normally you would see it over here to the side. I'm gonna go here to view recently con completed upgrades and you will see that uh, enable birthday work and anniversary cards on the latest homepage. I've already set that up and, and uh, initiated that. So that has been kicked off and is set up as well. So last thing I will show you real quick is what this is doing is it actually is creating two uh, uh, provisioning jobs. It's creating two, uh, it's scheduling two provisioning jobs behind the scenes. And what I'm gonna do now is just pull over the provisioning so that you can see um, uh, these two jobs that are running on a periodic basis. So you have the monthly job and the daily job. So the monthly job, of course, runs once a month and will automatically uh, just say anybody that's going to have a, day, uh, a birthday or an anniversary this month, it's going to push the, that information out. And then there's the daily job that's going to run, of course, daily to give you those daily cards as well. Again, that will happen automatically. Of course, if you are a uh, partner and you have access to provisioning, you can set this up to, to run Run on demand if you if you wanted to test something out but um, but for the most part all you should have to do is set these jobs up or you don't even have to set these up they happen automatically behind the scenes you can go if you're an, uh, if you're a client you can go into manage scheduled jobs and watch and make sure that they are running so that is it those are the steps to go through uh, in order to get those cards working